I've been crucified with Christ I've been crucified with Christ I no longer live but Christ lives in me We welcome you to our Bible study today of the Apostolic Doctrine of Eschatology. Today is our subject, part two, of the story of Enoch and Elijah. Today we're going to be talking about Elijah and the whirlwind. Did Elijah go to heaven or was he simply retired to another place at that time in his life? Let's read 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 1 through 18 and we're going to see what the scriptures say. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went, and stood to view afar off, and they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle, and wrapped it together, and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they went, the two went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither and Elisha went over and when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him they said the spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha and they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him and they said unto him behold now there be with thy servants fifty strong men let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master. Lest free adventure the Spirit of the Lord had taken him up and cast, upon, cast him upon some mountain 
or into some valley. And he said, You shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not. And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? In 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 11, notice what the scripture said. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Now the scriptures very plainly say, they did not say that the chariot took him to heaven, but that a whirlwind took him up into heaven. Elijah taken up in a whirlwind happened in approximately the year 896 B.C. Nothing is said in the New Testament about what happened to Elijah. But notice in 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 3, 4, and 5, what the scriptures say. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. There was no direct announcement that Elijah would be replaced by Elisha. But these verses indicate that there would be a change taking place. The sons of the prophets of Bethel and, and of Jericho asked Elisha if he knew that Elijah was leaving. He said that he knew this. God had evidently revealed that fact to many people. When God removed Elijah and he was taken, his mantle dropped from him and Elisha picked it up. The mantle that was worn by the prophets and priests was an insignia of their office. God was showing his purpose in removing Elijah and refilling his prophetic office with Elisha. Contrary to what is being taught today, Elijah could not have gone to heaven where God resides. Preachers today say that Elijah did not die. In John chapter 3 verse 13, very plainly the Bible said this, And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Jesus said this hundreds of years after this event with Elijah. In John 1.18, the Bible said this, No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He hath declared Him. The question that is asked now is, What heaven did Elijah go to? He was not taken up into God's heavenly throne. He was taken up into this planet's atmosphere. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. There could be no whirlwind in any other place than in the atmosphere surrounding the earth. A whirlwind such as a tornado depends on the atmosphere for its existence. Do you think that Elijah could go to heaven where God is without being immortal? The answer is flatly no. The scripture tells us that only Jesus has immortality. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 14, 15, and 16, the Bible said this, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only 
potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Eternal life, immortal life, can only be brought to life through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 11 is referred to as the faith chapter. This chapter mentions those who through faith obtained a good report and received not the promise. These, the Bible said, all died in faith. None went to heaven to be with God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13 and verse 32. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jeph Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. Hebrews 11 covers everyone, beginning with Abel, and ending with the prophets, which included the prophet Elijah. They all died. Scriptural proof. Remember, it is only after all of the scriptures have been examined on any particular subject or issue that true Bible doctrine can be established. In 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 16, the Bible said this, And they said unto him, Behold, now, there be with thy servants fifty strong men. Let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master, lest peradventure the Spirit of the Lord had taken him up and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, Ye shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not. And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? The fifty sons of the prophets did not think in terms of Elijah dying and being called up into heaven, but rather in terms of being placed somewhere else. Elisha knew that God translated Elijah to some other region. God did not say that Elijah would die at that time. Remember what the scripture said in Hebrews 9.27. And it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. And in Romans chapter 5 and verse 12, the scripture said this, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Now seven years in the year 889 B.C., after that whirlwind experience, the scripture tells us that Elijah wrote a letter to Jehoram in 2 Chronicles chapter 21, verses 9, 12 through 18. Then Jehoram went forth with his princes and all his chariots with him, and he rose up by night and smote the Edomites, which compassed them in, and the captains of the chariots. And there came a writing to him from Elijah, the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, Because thou hast not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat thy father, nor in the ways of Asa king of Judah, but has walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and has made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to go a-whoring, like to the whoredoms of the house of Ahab, and also has slain thy brethren of thy father's house, which were better than thyself. Behold, with a great plague will the Lord smite thy people, and thy children, and thy wives, and all thy goods. And thou shalt have great sickness by disease of thy bowels, until thy bowels fall out 
by reason of the sickness day by day. Moreover, the Lord stirred up against Jehoram the spirit of the Philistines and of the Arabians that were near the Ethiopians. And they came up into Judah and break into it and carried away all the substance that was found in the king's house and his sons also and his wives so that there was never a son left him save Jehoshaphat, the youngest of his sons. And after all this, the Lord smote him in his bowels with an incurable disease. This is further proof that Elijah was still alive on planet earth after the whirlwind. There was going to be a time in the future that Elijah would die, but no record of when or how. In conclusion, Elijah did not go into heaven where God dwells, but rather was removed from that geographical place to another geographical place. Remember now, it is only after all of the scriptures have been examined on any particular subject can true Bible doctrine be established. Elijah and the Whirlwind, Part 2. If you have any comment, if you have any uh, a question, you can email us at the New Covenant Apostolic Church at gmail.com. I've been crucified with Christ. I've been crucified with Christ.